Ajde, monici. Skala lan. Skala lan. Dobro, ne ste li apostol za GMS? Kruvel? Kako? Son. Ljubi se salitišan, se li bojala za mi foko na zariot. Pričem na svoj, na čutan in sem seriti. No, this is Brother Manatazak from GMS, Channel Aris. Uh, this is Brother Yaraba. Um, yeah, when I feel light problems here, my brother outside, so again, some problems with the light. My, so, not here. Guy, that, that is, that is. Yeah. Um, you know, the video today is basically about the fact that wisdom coming from the Lord and the attributes of wisdom and so on and so forth, right? Okay. Um, I go. I go start with a uh, scripture from Corinthians okay. one and six. I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. But brother, go with the law with brother, and that before the unbelievers right so i will stop there guys first corinthians 6 5 and 6 now the precept says that is not a wise man among you question mark no not one shall be able to judge between his brethren yes, I, know. I don't understand any truth that when you come into the truth, right? And you're doing this with two times and thirty, you are to see past flesh. So when it when you go into law with a brother, you're going to law with a man. You're going to law with a spiritual creature how we, we govern by spirits. Okay. You understand? And to be in tune with spiritual, you have to be what's the opposite of in tune? On tune? Uh, right, yeah, you have to be, you have to not be in tune with the physical, which means emotions. Right now, go we'll say disconnected, disconnected. Well, disconnected, right? Yeah, disconnected with your emotions. You understand? Now, a lot of brothers think emotions, you dig? Or let me say, soft emotions is the emotions when we're talking about when they say, hey, you can't be emotional, but think, think, think. You know, that is not the way. No, it's not just being a soft man or you love, 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 and you know, anger is an emotion. Anger, you understand, is an emotion that is a derivative of hatred. You understand? So, if you if, if, if you have to judge a brother, you cannot do it with anger. Eh? That is why for the Passover, that is one of the reasons why for the Passover, you have to. You have to Ask forgiveness and give forgiveness before you go into the service. You understand? You have to cleanse your about, spirit. How about precept on that particular thing you just said? Right about you. Um, I haven't brought out this precept in, in a, a long time. <laughs> Take it about it. Okay, right? Hold on. So this is... um. So there's, um, there's James 1, verse 16. James 1, verse 19, right? 19 and 20, right? Verse, verse 19, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, right? Mm -hmm. Say, for the wrath of man worketh not in the righteousness of power. Right? So I say the wrath of man will not right just the power, right? You'll see like for example, when it is you're, you're upset, it you're supposed to like, for example, have a particular way of thinking, way of going about things. Even though you might be angry about something, you always have to use as much wisdom as possible and be mindful of your action. You know, so I think you just get vexed and do something and then after you're vexed. You know? 
Yeah, yeah after the like events and they do it and then you calm down the sudden way, boy. Right. Because just like I was saying, um, it's in, I think it's in Galatia, so they say, um, be angry and stay in the nuts. Because at any time a man is transgress is when he upset. That's why you just have to be careful with with certain things like that. Can and let me, let me bring this precept here. Yeah. The Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. You understand? Get understanding to understand A. To deal with things with wisdom, okay. you have to view everything, even in situations where you might be a first party or a second party, you have to deal with it as a third party. So like, for instance, for example, oh me and you here, you understand? In the back of my mind, before I say something, I I I I thinking about it like a viewer then. Your process. Yeah. So if I see this, I view in this now, how I go react to this way? Watching this, let me say I know any truth or I know, you know, understand what's going on and now see some brothers banging in there and they put me on to the site or whatnot and you know, that you understand and I try to use as a third party then. Think about it. Before you say this or before you do this. Understand? How, what what will be the reaction? You understand? And from that understanding, you will continue your footsteps in wisdom. Yeah, because, as, because, like as you say, as mm -hmm. you said before, before we started, I you understand. Try to be blameless. Can't. So nobody could say, well, you don't do this or you don't do that or you wasn't on this or whatever the case may be. I think always, as I, I, what I want to say is that the you know, Shayama Sheikh, he was a perfect example, right? And when he walked, he wasn't trying to remain blameless. He was, he was blameless completely. Done. Even though men did disagree with what it is he was saying or what it is he was doing, however the case may be, he didn't do nothing wrong. And he always made sure he didn't do anything wrong. You understand? So it must, you must always try to, just like how I say, be followers of me like I am of Mashiach. Mashiach always tried to remain blameless. The apostles, when they was doing the thing, they tried to be blameless. And same thing with us. We supposed to be trying to be blameless also. And that is wisdom. You understand? To have a to have a good name when you leave here. That is wisdom. That is wisdom that only the Lord could really bestow upon you. Alright? Have, have, um, have a piece up here. It's in Ecclesiasticus 1 verse 1. They say all wisdom coming from the Lord. And is with him forever. You understand? And then he can always done the Lord has given to men of understanding. You understand? To always be wise. And not and have a have an expressive here. Right? You, have, you have anything? No, you no, you okay, well. Have an expressive here. This is in Proverbs. And this is why I, I really like precepts like this because you see, when you need to think in, in a real, in a real serious thing, you really have to think hard about certain things. You just have to process things. You understand? Because anything to do with the Lord's ordinance is a real serious thing. Right? Mm. Anything to do, I always said that, anything to do with the Lord's ordinance is a real serious thing. Yeah, the scriptures talk about it, say, in all things be circumspect. Good. You understand? If I had to do some kind of shipping, I prefer it to be some worldly nonsense that. You know, some little shipments that don't matter, but when it comes to things of the truth of the Lord, that concern the Lord, I just try to be as, as try to deal with it as wise as possible. Now, but you understand, because some mistakes here you don't want to make in this truth, in that kind of way. Can. Some mistakes you don't want to make. Everybody has made mistakes, yes, it's true, it's a part of man, it's a part of mankind, you know, but some mistakes you don't want to make. You always try to deal with it as wise as possible. Right, so there's, um, this is Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, I'll start from, I'll start from one, right? It's it, 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 a right? Right, Proverbs 3, I'll start from one. It says, my son, forget not my law. But let thine heart keep thine commandments, right? Because we know, as the scriptures say, this is always done in our, our understanding. 
the city the city was down at on the stand that the Lord gave to us to go about doing things a particular way, right? You see, for length of for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to add to thee, right? You say, let not let not mercy and truth forsake thee, right? Let not mercy and truth forsake thee, because this is wise things to have according to the scriptures. They say, bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart, right? It says, so, so shalt thou find favor and power, understanding in the sight. Sorry, so okay, I'm read it over. So shalt thou find favor and good and good understanding in the sight of power and man, right? And these things is things you're supposed to do in the sight of men. You understand? To, to, to like to be the light of the Lord now, boy. Go on. You understand? So even that is surely wisdom wisdom through the scriptures is even being a particular way for others to see. Not, not, not according to how they would want to see you, but according to how the Lord want them to see you. You know that kind of way? Yeah, I understand. What you mean. Yeah, even that by itself, even that by itself is wisdom. Because at the end of the day, as the light, you had to be seen and you had to be portrayed a particular way. You know, so all these things is things I just had to be mindful of. Right? They say, um, verse five, they say, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Because we know that is an unwise thing. Whereas you're just doing None. things according to your own way. And you're not using the scriptures and the spirit to balance things. You know, the law does deal with balance. You have, to, you have to be able to balance things according to the spirit. You know, you search the law and you're balanced and weigh things according to the spirit. That is, that is how you're supposed to use, especially in this kingdom, where it has so much abominations and difficulties. You have to balance things very often. You understand? Mm-hmm. Guys, I often say, in, back in Israel, it was already hard for us. And that is when we was in a, in a place where things was more righteous. You understand? So imagine now where you're faced with all these elements, all these poisons, all these spirits roaming about. You understand? It's not going to be easier for you here. It's going to be more difficult. So it's more now than even before. You're supposed to always try to be spiritual minded about certain things and balance certain things a certain way. You understand? Always try to be as always try to use with especially when it comes to things in the scriptures. Always try to be as wise as possible when dealing with it. Right? Be not my own understanding. It's saying all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy steps. And that is wisdom also seeking seeking the Lord to help to help direct your steps. Don't just do things according to you know, any rash way or, you know, just, we'll just do something. Always seek guidance from the Lord on what is the best way to go about things. You'll see mm-hmm. a good example of that was what? A good example of that was with, um, it's a story, um, I think it's Susanna. You understand? When she was in the ordeal with the two men who wanted to rape she. Oh, God. You understand? What she do? She prayed to the Lord for guidance. And what you do? He send down the hell. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, it's had to be spiritual about certain it's had to be spiritual about certain things. It's had to be real spiritual and real use real wisdom when it comes to certain things. It say um verse seven, it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord and depart from evil. So the wisdom of the scriptures is something that you must always try to utilize. You understand? Always try to utilize it. Always try to process things a certain way. Always try to do things a certain way. You know, always try to be as as wise as possible, as humble as possible. You understand? Because I often say, I never know what kind of spirits working in the background. You know, the Lord has some kind of spirits he has out there. And you don't know what it is, what it is he had him doing. You understand? So always try to, always good to try to be as wise as possible. Always try to be as humble as possible so that he will always show you that mercy in way. You understand? Always try to deal with things as nice as possible. You know, in that, in that aspect, always try, to, always try to be mindful of certain things because 
and any man of the Lord, we don't know where it is, but we don't know where it is, the Lord has it stored for us. Come. And that's why we gotta always try to be wise and understand that the hey, Lord don't need me, you know. <laughs> you don't need me. Lord, you don't need me. This, you, you know, I got a nice little, I got a nice little puppet here outside here doing some work. You don't need me. So I just always try to be mindful of that. You know, try to be wise to know that, hey, you know, try to do things a certain way. Try to be humble in certain situations. Okay, you never know what kind of spirits behind the scenes whispering in your ears and what their intentions is. Can. Do you have any precepts? No, nah, keep going. I have one here. In, um, I think it's going to In Corinthians. I feel this might be my last piece of it. You know, I'll have to go to the Right. So this is um this first Corinthians two. Two or two, I'll start from Start from what? Start from ten. Oh, alright, go ahead. Well, I have a precept before ten. Eh? But go ahead. No, if you like, read it out to me. Alright, it's First Corinthians two and five. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but right. in the power of power. Right. You understand? Because we're young trees, the wisdom of the Lord is how it is used to decide things. Even I, people are sometimes think to themselves that people doesn't understand why this truth has been so hard. This truth is one of the reasons why this truth has been so hard is because when when you come into this truth, you don't know, do things according to how you would like to do it anymore. And a lot of people, people just think that this truth is easy in the sense of when you're serving the Lord, you gain everything you want. You always get everything you want. Sometimes things just happen in a way that might be how you might like it, but you go out to deal with it. You know that kind of way? Gone. That is ready on tree, how does truth this be? You yes, usually be faced with stuff that you don't like, but you just had to deal with it. And that is how humility does come in. You understand? Because that is a, is a hard thing to be humble when you want something and you can't get it, but you have to deal with it that particular way. It seems like how, how a wife might be, a wife or a husband. She mightn't like this or that, but she had to be humble to deal with whatever it is, you know, whatever it is she had to deal with. You understand? So humility by itself is a is a is a big is a big thing in this truth. You had a read you had a read this wisdom with it because you want to make sure that you do it accordingly, that way. Because it's a it's a it's a easy thing it's a easy thing to mess with you. Right? I read verse I read verse ten and say, First Corinthians two verse ten and say, but power has revealed them unto us by His spirits. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of power. And that is the kind of wisdom that the men of the Lord has have to be able to search things, you know, according to the spirit and do things on a different level that other people out there wouldn't do it on. You know? Okay, there are things that like I was talking about Susanna that, that Daniel was, was revealed to Daniel that nobody else wasn't catching them. That the kind of spirit that the Lord does give you when you when you're working with you. But, but the but you know all our wisdom that wisdom that he just gave it has come with a certain level of humility and you had to you had to you know you had to be a particular way i could talk about it um, in ecclesiasticus to say i'm the greater the Lord, the more humble myself yeah because in ecclesiastes he says great wisdom does come with great sorrow right the yeah, ecclesiastes yeah i love, I love that scripture <laughs> With, with, with much wisdom is much grief. Go on. Because, because really and truly, when you learn certain things, it has become harder, not easier. And all these things, obstacles we have had to face. And that way it's had already exercised wisdom when dealing with things. All right? Go on. It's able to learn to say, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save he, save, sorry, so like here, save the spirit of man which is in him. They say, even so, the things of power know it no man but the spirit of power. 
And that way the Lord is used to reveal these things unto us, right? By the Spirit. It said, now we have received. So now we have received not the Spirit of the will, right? Mm -hmm. But the Spirit, which is of power, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of power, right? They say, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom speaketh, right? So that is true. Wisdom is even changed the way that you does, you does, you does see things, you does deal with things, because you become, you become different. And like when a man was young and then he grew up and he become a doctor, how he would deal with things, how he evolve with wisdom. Huh? So he does evolve. Right, you know, there's make it different how you deal with things, how you see things, how you go about doing things. I just kind of, I just kind of expect that the wisdom of the Lord does have on him. Right. Right. Um. With, um, I'll read what it means. Say which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom te wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teach it, right? It's a comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So being able to use that discernment, find that balance in certain things and how to go about doing it. Nice things that are revealed, with that wisdom that is being revealed unto your true spirit. You understand? And you also have to try to make decisions the same way, through the spirit with wisdom. Right? To say, but then but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of power. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they know them because they are spiritually discerned. Right? And I'll read. And I'll, and I'll read this um, this last one here. You say, verse 15, you say, But he that is spiritual judges all things. And he himself is judged of no man. All right, and truly, with the wisdom of the scriptures, you can make you can make judgment. Tati, you understand? You wouldn't be perfect at doing it. You understand? You wouldn't be you wouldn't be perfect, perfect at doing it. But you make be able to make judgments according to righteousness, as men rehearse in righteousness. You know, all these all these things all these things in the scriptures that show you how important wisdom is. The wisdom of the scriptures, the wisdom of how to deal with things. You know. It's it very, it was very important. Okay. But all, all wisdom does come from the Lord. Even you'll see like these people out here who wise in their own eyes to do certain things. Yeah, so I, I said all right, right now, people outside they drinking and making so noise. Yeah, so and said, that, that, is, that is the wisdom that the Lord gives them. You understand? But we receive a different kind of wisdom. A, a, a wisdom that. A wisdom that they can't comprehend, and a wisdom that we're supposed to use a particular way as we go about doing things a particular way. You understand? Um, yeah, anything else? Or I... No, nah, that is the thoughts. <clears throat> All right. Well, go ahead and close off. I have a question. All right. So, you want to say again? Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kokidash. You understand? Once again, double honors to the elders of GMS, to the apostles of GMS, and salutations to the Akiam, for honors of the youth, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. You understand? Using the wisdom and using the wisdom with understanding. You understand? Using the wisdom with humility. Okay. Here we say, Shalom. If I can also say quick act, I also say, you know, always try to. In these times, always try to be as spiritual as possible. Always try to use as much wisdom as possible. Always try to be as blameless as possible. You see, times, times really speeding up now, boy. Times really speeding up. I know the talk trip just talk about about the um the Lord coming like a thief in the night. Come. You know, we could think how much time we have here, but the Lord could just do so and snap a finger and shit break out and go crazy. You understand? Always try to be mindful. Always try to do what you gotta do. Always try to get as blameless as possible. Use wisdom. You understand? Always try to use wisdom. But this is one of the gifts. Wisdom and discernment is one of the gifts that that the Lord gave to his men along with faith. 
you know, to be able to, to endure and, and deal, deal with things in this place, you understand? It's one of the gifts that he gave to us. I know, you know, sometimes it is being man, you know, sometimes it is, it is reject these things mentally. Go on. You know, because, you know, sometimes you might have other things in your spirit and, you know, just certain things might make you, you know, not always think with wisdom now, like, but always try to be as wise as possible the way you're supposed to know all these things because these are, the, these are like these tools, they, they like, I guess talk about the building blocks, these things are like the building blocks that the Lord gave us to be able to, to, to finish this game, you understand? These are the building blocks that He give us, so we have to use them. Use them accordingly. If a man get tools to work, you gotta use the tools. Don't do, 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 do put on your hammer and your nail and you take a big stone and you pound your wall. <laughs> you understand? You use the tools that you have, right? Anyway, with that, shallow market.